Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to a brand new tutorial and we're going to look at emissive materials, emissive... Do you mind having those emissive objects on everywhere? Because it's, it's just getting in the way of the video. So disregarding that, we're going to look at a material with an emissive property, but we're going to be able to change and turn it on and off. We're going to be able to affect the actual colours, the intensity, and we're going to look at being able to change the texture at runtime in code and get that all done with a simple UI that you'll be able to get on my Patreon. I'll show you how to make it all for free in this video, but you can also get over 115 different scripts and projects that you can't find anywhere else on my Patreon. Be able to show to check that out and let me know what you think of this video. As you can see on my screen here, I've got an emissive sphere, a really fancy sphere, which is like the sun. And you can see I've got some buttons I've just created to make this visible so we can turn the emission on, off. We can change the color that we might want to set. Of course, you can set this in script. We can change the intensity of our emission and we can actually change the texture that's suitable on our emission. And I'm going to show you today on how to make each of these things and be able to control exactly what you have for your emission. So all I've realistically got in my scene is I've got a canvas which controls the things that are going on. So here you can see my emissive object, which is just a sphere and it's got a material on which I just called emissive at the bottom here. It's got an emission property, as you can see, with a little tick box and it's got a specific color. I've set the intensity by default to three and you can see it there. So that's set up and ready to go. We'll create a new script. We're going to want to turn it on and off. So we'll have a script and we'll just call this our emissive script. You name this whatever is suitable for you. But what I'm going to do is going to open up in Visual Studio. We need to find them the material that the object has, and then we need to get the renderer, which would create an instance of this material so we can able to use it. Square brackets, serialize field, we'll say private material, and we'll just call this our emissive material. Then under here, I'm just going to write avoid start, and then I'm going to select our emissive material and make sure that equals, because we need to give this a particular material that we're going to use. So we need to also create another object or another reference to the objects that we're going to have. So that was our material that we want to reference. We need to reference the renderer, which our material sits on to create that instance. So we'll say private renderer. We can just have this our object to change. So then our emissive material will equal our object to change dot get component. And then in angled brackets, we'll say the renderer because that's the thing that we're looking for. And then we'll have two brackets to call that. And then we're just going to specify the material, which will have a semicolon. So now this will create an instance of our emissive material for us to be able to use whenever we want. So it doesn't affect the original material. And if lots of materials shared the same one and we wanted to turn the emission off in just one, this is the way that we need to do it. So now what I can do in this instance is just say public void turn emission off. I'm just creating a public method just so we can access to turn it off within a button press. And we're just gonna say that our missive material dot disable keyword and then here we have to specify a particular keyword which would be underscore emission like this because that's how we select the actual emissive property of the emission value on the material so if i copy that method i just have this new method as turn emission on i can then say enable keyword so this just means this allows us to turn it on and off whenever we want. And if you want to access other properties on a material, if you select your material on any given object, you can click at the top of the inspector and you can click select shader. And on this right hand side, you can see that it has a bunch of emission color, emission map, and it has all the different properties that it's built up with what you have to reference to be able to affect that. And in this case, emission is the thing that we need to turn it off. So in this case here, I will give you the example. So I'm just gonna add this script to an empty game object and you see it's looking for our missive material, which was that one that I created. The object to change was my sphere that I wanted it to specifically change. And I'm just gonna quickly attach this to my buttons by selecting the emissive script and choosing the mission on for this button and emission off for this. Now what we can do again is press play and now you can see that when I press off and on, it turns it on and off just like we wanted. So now what we're going to do is change the emission color. I've got a public void change color and then I'm just going to have it a string as my color. 
because we're going to pass a parameter into here to specify a particular name of something we might want to change. So I'm just going to create a switch statement, which just means that we can specify based on one particular parameter, which is my color. And we're in brackets, we can just say my color. And then, then we'll say in one case, if let's say we choose red, we can put a colon. So then what we're going to do up at the top is we're just going to create a private um, variable as color and we're just going to specify this as a lower C for color. We can specify this whenever we want to use it. So we'll say that color is equal to color.red because this is just the shorthand for writing new color which would be red, green and blue with the alpha. So it's just 1001. And again up here we just want to create an intensity because you have to set an intensity when you change the color because by default when you change it the intensity will be down at zero and it just it won't look right. A simple float and we're just going to call this our intensity. Our intensity is equal to let's say 5.0f for instance which is just five units then what we'll do is again is our missive material because we needed that reference in the start method dot set color this time and then in brackets in quotes we can say that like before when we look to the actual material we need to say underscore emission color and then add a comma then we'll specify the color we're going to change it to which would be red in this case and then we need to times that by the value of our intensity that we've just set. So we can add that to the end and semicolon. And then we can just write break with a semicolon on the end to finish that switch. Now, what we can do is we could just write another. So in this case, another case could be blue. And as you could imagine, we can just copy those, all those lines again, paste those in below and say that color is color.blue and we can keep the intensity however we want it to be just keep it at five keep it at one whichever and then set the emission color and the color and the intensity so we can save that go back into unity again now i've got a set of change color buttons now in this case that i can add my emission controller which my object is on i can go to the missive script and i can go to the change color and it's looking for a screwed string and i can just name that whatever we did in our case which was red and then in our case of blue, we can do the emissive script and we can just choose the change color again and we can keep that on blue as well. And now when we press play, we can set on and off. Then we can set to red, set to blue, and that's how we can change our color. Now we want to might want to go about changing the intensity of our emission when it's there at any one time. So we could create another public void, emission intensity. And we're going to, in the brackets, just so I can use this in a UI, I'm just going to have a flow and the value because it's just going to be something we're going to set on a slider. This could be anything. You could set it to a default value just like we did slightly above. So in this case, we need to say a missing material like before. As you can imagine, we need to do dot set color because we're setting the color, but you can only set the intensity when you change color, but you can keep it the same color and set the intensity. So I'll just give you the example. Then open brackets again, you can have emission color remember you could uh, create a variable at the top with emission color and give it a particular just give it a string name and then you wouldn't have to write this every time you could just reference the variable but then we're going to say the color that we're looking for times by the current value which we've got on our slider with a semicolon and here i'm just using text mesh pro so we can say using tm pro with a semicolon and then what i can do is i can just create a reference to my value which I'm going to change on my TextMesh Pro slider. Then I'm going to create another serialized field which is just the slider which is going to be the intensity slider. A specific default value so we'll say private float default intensity which we could say it starts off at 3.0f and this is just something that in our start method we can say that our emission intensity value which is something that's the text box dot text is equal to our default intensity dot two string and then in brackets is a zero just so we can set that float value to a string so we can use it in a text box and also that our intensity slider dot value so the value of the slider is also equal to the default intensity at any time we want to use it the most important part was setting the color which would be whatever it was by default and if you wanted to do that to be able to get the actual original color you could just say that the color is equal to the our emissive material 
and but in this case we can say dot get color this time so in this case we want to give the color at start whatever it may be whatever our mission currently is we can get the color instead of setting the color so we can say get color and then we can just base that on the property of a mission color and we get that color as soon as it starts it adds it to the variable so if we try and change the intensity at the beginning of this happening without us setting the color to something else it will change that particular value i'll show you how this works i can go onto my slider i can add my controller again go to my emission script and just choose the dynamic float which is emission intensity i can make sure that i go to my controller and i need to make sure that i add the emission slider and the text box which is the value and then when we press play you can see by default it's set to three and this is what it was when i originally created my material if i take it all the way up we can make it much brighter and all the way down we can turn it off and then we can still do the same thing but of course if you do select these and you wanted these to change dynamically you'd want to update by running this method to be able to update based on what we have and then the last thing that you might want to do is update your texture so what we can do here is we can say public void change emission texture and then below here what we can do is just say that emissive material as again dot set texture this time because we set in the texture on a particular property then we can say that in quotes we can say underscore emission map and then here we just want to specify the actual texture that we're going to use so this would be we can put under here we can put square brackets serialized field private texture 2d and it, this could be my texture whatever you want that to be we can copy that straight into the box down here and add a semicolon which just means that it will be able to set the texture to the emission map with whatever texture that we've specified so again we go into unity if i want the button to change the material i can again add my controller change emission texture we can go onto our controller and see that it's looking for a texture i can just choose something random that's in this project here which could be the set of emojis because that looks good now if we press play and i change the color to something like blue because you wouldn't see because the emojis are all yellow and i go to just emission text you can see that's applied it with whatever tiling currently would be on there and then one last thing to mention when you do create an instance of a material when you exit a scene or change levels or something in your game it can cause a backlog and a memory leak and something like this so it's always good to make sure that you have a private void on destroy so as soon as this script scene whatever is destroyed and you don't need it anymore you can just say destroy emissive material so that material that we created which was the instance that you can see that the emissive material is just called material by default now if we press play because we've already done some things in the start method you can see that it creates an instance of the material so anything we change here say we change it there it won't change our original material it will only change the one that's instance in the scene so of course that when we destroy it it just means that that instance material is then deleted destroyed it's gone we don't need to use it just make sure that you don't get any issues in the future and do remember you can do all of these things in so many different ways but these are just the basic ways to control each of the different elements of the emission property and you can get this entire project and script and i'll put it on my patreon for you to get access to be sure to come and chat to me on discord and be sure to check out my great assets on the unity asset store so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers